Hello, young artists. Hello, young artists. We are going to make um, an African-inspired mask uh, connecting with Black History Month for February. Uh, we're going to make our mask out of the basic shape of a triangle. Step one, draw your horizontal line across. Step two, diagonal line. Step three, diagonal line. So now you just created your triangle for your mask. I'm gonna trace over it with a Sharpie for clarity. So now that I have that done, my next step is I wanna create like a center line. I'm gonna use my ruler to help me do that. So I'm gonna come in the middle of my triangle and I'm gonna come down and that gives me my center, my center line. I'm gonna trace that center line. Next, I'm gonna use basic shapes to create my African inspired math, mask. So horizontal line, one, two, three. That's going to be the nose. One, two, three. We're going to create a rhombus or a diamond. One, two, and one, two. This is our rhombus or our diamond. For the mouth. Next, we're going to create eyes, diagonal line, diagonal line, curve line on top, and curve line on top. Diagonal line, curve line on top, diagonal line, curve line on top. We're going to use Again, more triangles to kind of accent the cheeks. Diagonal line, diagonal line, that's one cheek. Diagonal line, diagonal line, that's another cheek. And we're gonna put a pattern inside of that space. So let's create a pattern of diagonal lines. You can really create a pattern of whatever you whatever you would like. But I'm going to create a pattern of diagonal lines. We're going to add eyebrows. One curve line, two. And we're going to add just some creative vertical lines at the top. So now we have our, our mask. I'm going to use the warm colors of orange yellow, brown, and red. I'm gonna color in his mouth red. You really can make it any color you want. I'm gonna color in his nose yellow. Again, you can really make the nose whatever color you want to make it. And I'm gonna color in his eyes orange. I am using a orange marker. So we're using the warm colors. We're not using any cool colors. And then we're gonna color in the cheek, or the cheeks in a pattern. So orange, Orange, leaving space for the other warm colors. Orange, leaving space. And then I'm going to fill in those spaces. Yellow here, yellow here, making it symmetrical, basically. Pretty much, I'm making it symmetrical. I'm making it the same on both sides. Okay, and then I'm going to go above that orange with 
my yellow. The only thing that's going to mess me up is that I have an extra space here. So I'm not quite sure on how to solve that problem right now. I'll solve it. I think I'll solve it with um, coloring this in black. And I'm going to do like a thinner black bar on this side, which kind of gives you the illusion of symmetry. Then I'm going to use my brown to fill in the rest. And carefully trying to fill in those open uh, areas so not to get in the overlap of color. Um, taking my time, coloring in. I can even turn my paper a little bit. And I'm almost finished. Okay, here is my African inspired mask using only basic shapes and lines. Have fun.